Roma and welcome to my kitchen and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes that I make which is banana nut muffins. Now it's a versatile recipe you can either make a banana loaf or a banana bread or muffins and recently I've been making more muffins I'm on this muffin roll I don't know why I used to be on a bread roll now I'm on a muffin roll so I'm going to show you how I make 12 jumbo muffins it's a great recipe because you can make it your own. You could add raisins, walnuts, pecans, chocolate chips, whatever you want to put in there. But in mine, I keep it simple and I sprinkle some walnuts on top. So let's get baking. So here are all of my ingredients for my banana nut muffins. We've got oil. I use an olive oil, it works great. Sugar, flour, salt, baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, two eggs, vanilla, and four bananas. Oh, and the walnuts for the, the topping. Okay, and let's talk about my bananas. So these bananas I froze on August 14th, and what I typically do is I always have bananas on my counter, and when they start to get brown, when they almost look rotten, but the browner they get, the sweeter they get. When they're super brown, I just crush them up, mash them up, and I stick them in a quart-sized bag, and I lay it flat in my freezer, and it's a space saver in the freezer. And uh, when I'm ready to use bananas, I have them. I just stick them in a, a, a tray that's full of cold water, and I just defrost them. And then they're ready to open up and pour into my banana nut muffins. Okay, so first up, we're going to add two eggs to a large bowl. And then we're going to add one cup of sugar to that. And you can mix this by hand or use a hand mixer. I'm going to use a hand mixer on this. Just make sure it all gets incorporated. And then next, you're going to add your four very ripe bananas. And these are the ones that I had frozen back in May. And then you're going to use your mixer or mix by hand and mix that together. Next, you're going to add a half a cup of oil. You can use vegetable, canola, whatever you have. I cook with, I bake with olive oil and it works perfectly great. You're going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of vanilla. You're going to mix all of this together. Not too long, as you see, it's just like, I don't know, 15 seconds. And then you're going to use all of your dry, dry ingredients and you're going to put them through this sifter. So we've got two cups of flour. We've got a teaspoon of baking soda. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. And I always bake with a sifter because this is the way that you make sure you have no lumps. I'm not, a, I don't like lumps in any of my baking and it happens. So if you use a sifter, you'll never have lumps. Now you're just gonna use your mixer and you're gonna mix all of this together just until it gets incorporated. And then I'll get a spatula and wipe down the sides of the uh, bowl to make sure that I don't have any extra pieces of flour that pop in after I'm done mixing it. Now I'm gonna add this to a measuring cup that actually has a spout on it because I it's so much easier to pour into the muffin cups if you've got something with a spout. If you don't have one, it's definitely a great kitchen tool to invest in uh, one of these cups with a spout. So I'm gonna pour the mix into the, these are jumbo muffin cups. It'll make a, uh, six of these or a dozen regular size muffins or one loaf if you have a loaf pan. I've made them all all that way, six, 12, or a loaf. It works the same. If you put it in the loaf pan, it's gonna take an hour to bake. If you put it in these muffin cups, it takes about 30 minutes. So now I'm going to wipe off any of the excess batter that is on the side, because you don't want burned batter. And then I'm topping with walnuts. You could top it with raisins, chocolate chips, whatever you like. You could even add the walnuts into the mix, but I just like to top them with walnuts. So I'm going to pop these into the oven for 30 minutes. I have to pop out to see a house right now, show it to my clients, and my daughter's going to be here to stand in and take them out for me. 
So set the timer for 30 minutes. You're at 350 degrees. And there's my pumpkin pie pulling out my muffins. Look how pretty those are. They're golden and rounded and you got the nuts. They're ready to have with your afternoon cup of joe. Well, here is the finished product, my banana nut muffin. So this is a jumbo size muffin, but in retail, if you went and bought one at Starbucks or Coffee Bean, this is really the size you would get, which is why I switched over to jumbos. If I make the smaller muffins, uh, this recipe made six jumbos, but if I did uh, the regular size muffin tins, that would make a dozen. But anyone in my house that eats muffins is going to have at least two or three, so I just stick with the jumbo size. I find it's just more efficient. And you can also make one loaf of banana bread with this recipe. So thank you for joining me today, and I have a hot pot of coffee brewing, and I'm gonna go and enjoy my muffin with my coffee. So thanks for joining me. Till next video, bye-bye. To get my recipe, click the link below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that bell for future updates.